Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I hope you're doing well. Um, again, just wanted to apologise for the last couple of weeks. I've kind of been like a bit blur and uh, still lots going on. So now that I'm kind of back and settled, uh, I've been kind of working out content ideas and putting together some stuff that I've spoken about in previous videos. And what I'm going to do moving forwards is the next couple of weeks I'll have a van, fingers crossed. Um, there was some content I did for my degree a couple of years ago uh, that I really want to put into actual practical use and I don't really want to discuss much of it. I've kind of mentioned it in a previous video but I'm kind of hoping that with a bit of time and patience I can really put stuff together and make it work and hopefully people can actually get a lot of use out of it. So I'll keep that kind of content quiet for now but moving forward that's kind of what to expect from me. The other stuff that is kind of happening over the next few weeks is oh god so I'm doing a lot of stuff on my website I've kind of really started pushing that forwards and I'm hoping for a lot more content uh, with that and then I'm going to show you what I've been up to with it and we're going to go from there and see where it takes us uh, I'm trying to aim for the daily upload again no idea how that's going to go but without that I'm just going to move on to the video and what I want to talk about today so in the last four weeks, I kind of just stopped, as I've said the other, t other day, and um, the content of today's video is basically about um, the, like how yacht life can really get ingrained into your psyche, essentially, and how you can really like get stuck in the mindset of the boat. And I think I mentioned in the, yesterday's video was that I remember waking up to an alarm on the farm when I was at home with my parents and I thought it was the boat and that really says something it, and I was like oh my god like what's going on and when you've been sat COVID as well but the point what I'm trying to make is that when you've been sat on a boat for six months and really haven't really moved and you've kind of been in the same position doing the same stuff with the same people and you kind of get not comfortable but you it becomes normal and what I noticed with when I got back is that I was so on edge I was so like uncomfortable and didn't really know what to say to people uh the couple of fam like family friend meetups that we had uh over the last couple of weeks where I just kind of felt out of the loop even though I wasn't nobody had seen each other because of covid and everyone was kind of isolating you know we we're all doing our own isolation in our own way and I just said to myself well, what's going on? What, you know, like, I, I can't work this out. I'm irritated all the time. I don't really know what to say to anyone. And, you know, what is it? And I actually messaged my engineer uh, about it because it was still on my mind. Um, a good friend of mine, actually, she's on a boat as well. So we talk every day. And she actually, like, she was telling me that they had a guest who had COVID. And it got to a point where the, my boat that I was on was anchored next to her boat. And I felt obliged to tell the guys on the boat I worked on that there was a boat next to them that had COVID. Like they, they, they had a guest that had COVID. And I knew that the, my, the boss of the boat that I worked on, his um, family, a couple of members were high risk. And in, in my mind, I just felt obligated to say something. And after I found out that minute that my, um, you know, there was that possibility of risk I just instantly went into like auto mode autopilot essentially and thought about like how can I help the boat what can I do blah, blah, blah. and I remember being sat in the lounge next to my pair no my mum and my sister and brother's girlfriend anyway long story short and they said there they sat me down and they put my phone and said Richard you need to stop this and I was like what and what I noticed was that I was being caught up in that life again I've been caught up in that you know that so that sphere of influence and that kind of like I felt like I needed to do something even though I wasn't getting paid by the boat I had no obligation to the boat but yeah I felt like there's something I had to do and then I my engineer said to me he says like really yachting can get ingrained into your psyche like and you really can find yourself working every day of the year I, I know boats that do and it's tough it really is tough that like that kind of lifestyle and don't wrong I've loved the last six months of doing it uh, I've learned so much from being on the yacht I was on. Uh, there's some incredible guys that I worked with and I learned so much from them. 
But moving forwards, I decided to come back for a bit. Um, I've had a couple of things on the go, so like I reapplied to the military. That's a whole other story for another time. And uh, obviously, wanted to build my business and my website, start van life. So it's kind of been very up in the air at the moment. So what else happened when I was on the boat that kind of got me kind of like, why am I being like this? Um, was that routine. And I know routine is a killer, but what I found was that when I was on the boat, I was so regimented and so like, like pretty much all the time that when I got off the boat, I was just, like, I, I just stopped all routine. Like I found myself napping all the time and I never really nap, which is kind of really bizarre, but I found myself napping more so. And it got to a point where I was like, okay, this needs to stop. Like, this isn't right. So I kind of got back, switched off, didn't do much. But I was still thinking about the boat, still thinking about when the boss was coming on board, still thinking about what day, what day they'd be doing, what they'd be doing this day, what they'd be doing the next day, where are they at the moment? I believe they've just left San Tropez, speaking of which. And it's just like, why? Why am I thinking like this? And it's simply because the lifestyle of being on a boat is, the, is that life. You are so invested in it. You are part of the boat in one way or another. And for some people, that's really difficult to come to terms with. And for other people, it's like me, I did six months on this one boat. I know people do years on boats. Uh, I'm no means saying that I know everything and I really, really don't. But what I found was that it just took a long time to adjust. And people coming out of that industry will find it hard to adjust and it's never going to be easy. So for me, I will dabble back as and when I want to. Um, for now, I'm here, just settled in this new place. Currently in the mode process of painting as well. Uh, that's a whole another conversation that I really don't want to talk about right now. But yeah, painting my room at the moment, I just took a break to kind of just do some admin and you know get a video out and see what everyone's saying at the moment. But um, I'll kind of leave today's video here. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I thought that, you know, with everything going on, why I've been so agitated and why I haven't done much content, it's actually not because of, you know, I'm being lazy about it. It's just my mind's been so focused on that. And I just wanted to switch off, I think, and kind of reset and come up with new content ideas and push forward from there. But for now, guys, I will leave today's video here. I hope this has kind of helped. You know, you never know. I might have people from the industry that are watching never know. One of my videos I noticed it kind of had a bit of interest so that's always nice to see but for now I will leave today's video here. Thank you as always guys and yeah I will see you in the next video. Take care for now.